Well, shenara, shenara. It's our picture. I am happy to be with you. Thank you, my little compass. We are together. This is my podcast. It's called Our Picture Dream Guest. The idea is I sit down with a guest and we have a fika together. What a wonderful way to find out about somebody. Did you know that a global poll company in 2021, they were called Scent, they asked Swedes how they felt. 66% of Swedes said they felt lonely. (laughs) I'm going to beat that loneliness. You and I together because... You are not alone. I am here with you. My guest this week was Hedvig Lindahl, a fantastic Morvacht for the Swedish national team. She's played in Atletico, Chelsea. She has played 189 times for Sweden. Can you believe that? And she is fantastic. I'm currently putting my hands up as though I am some type of Morvacht. I couldn't even catch a cold. She was brilliant. We talk about learning from our wives. We talk about the new coffee intake. She didn't like coffee. Now she does. Why is that? We'll find out. And also, her specific music taste really doesn't like this type of music. It was a really, really great chat. I enjoyed it so much. And you're going to enjoy it as well. So just, yeah, listen, have fun, laugh out loud, dance like you're not being watched. I'm Al Pitcher, and this is my dream guest. You're someone that I wanted to meet, dream guest. My son is a Molvakt. Uh-huh. He's um, 13 now. So I now understand the stress. Yes. It's an unbelievable position. Um, We're going to get into that more. The idea is that we're going to have a fika together. Mm -hmm. Um, The the concept for me is in Sweden, I find it very difficult meeting people. Mm -hmm. And I think having a fika is probably a way to do this. Yes. So you're actually going to guide me through like I am your guide dog. Okay. Yeah. So... um, what I wanted to do to start with was wanted you, rather than me looking up Wikipedia and Googling you, I want you to tell me who you are. Maybe as you would at a Fika. Yeah? Yeah? Uh, as if you would not have seen anyone's social media accounts and whatever we just no, meet for the first just, time. you just come in and yeah. you're, you're sitting down. Basically, we're, we're, we would be sitting down in a cafe and you, you start talking. Yeah. Very non-Swedish thing to yeah. do. But uh, yeah, no, um, I, I like that. I, actually, that, that's exactly what I feel for you because I have no real clue. I've seen some of your stand up. Yes, I've seen that. You, I've I googled you, and then your name and your some of your shows came up. That yeah, you, I think you went to my hometown in Katrina Holm. Katrina Holm. Yes. yes, I, I mean like, Ooh, he's been there. <laughs> yeah, I mean the, I think the joke is you play Katrina Holm twice in your career, once on the way up, and yeah, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. No, I um. I, it's a very <laughs> weird place, Katrina Home. Very much a train changer. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the one that comes up always. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I've done it a few times. The audiences are great. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's something about that part of the world. Flan, Katrina Home, Ving Orca. Yes. They're all. My um, hoods. <laughs> yeah. They're all. They're original. They're original, you know? For sure. Yeah. You have one of them here. So yeah. you said it uh, originality. Um well, if I would describe myself, I I would I don't think I would be maybe the whatever a typical Swede would be uh, if you generalize. I don't think yeah. I maybe fit that mold so much because uh, I am very curious. Uh, I think I'm open. Yeah. Whereas my wife, she's from Berlin. Uh, she her she her mom is from Singapore. She has she kind of feels like she doesn't really hundred percent is you know, one type of culture, you know, and so she's opening up the world to me even more, even though I thought it was open. Yeah. I realize I'm probably still a little bit, you know, stuck in some, you have some biases that you don't really understand. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. Kind of carry on with, but do you, when you drop 
if I dropped you into a social situation, are you going to do okay? Um, <laughs> well, I would be very, like, 100% curious of the people that I meet. Yeah. Um, when I was young, I was uh, not very, how do you say, like, I was like a rough diamond, maybe, if I can, you know, like, give myself some critique, but also kind of build myself up. Uh, yeah. up. Because I was very, very curious of people, especially if someone new came into a group, I would be like, hello, who are you? Who are you? Okay. And, da, da, da. and yeah. they probably felt like, stop suffocating me, you know? Um, and I don't think that's so Swedish. No, you know what I mean. no. I mean, I think you get more and more Swedish coming uh, when you live here. You start getting into those kind of... Um, I wouldn't say, if I met someone, I wouldn't be so... Oh, welcome. Oh, who are you? I'd be like, like, I've just been in America and the Americans come up to you and they say, how are you doing? Yeah. And they welcome you and have a good day. To me, I'm thinking, are they going to rip me off? Are they, they, there's something wrong here. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that suspicion for me. <gasps> yeah. So, um, and, and it's sort of quickly over your c career, 189. Nine. Yes. I'd love 190. I'd love 190. Yeah. But 100, I would. 189 is brilliant. Yes. Do you get the caps? You know when it says caps, you don't get a cap, do you? Uh, you did from the from UEFA when you hit 100. Okay. Uh, but in I think in England they have some of those. Yeah. If they get one from every game. I'm not sure. But we get like this, in Swedish we call them vimplar. Okay. Um, what is it called in English? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. I just did that thing where I just went, <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know the you word. You know, like uh, you have the club emblem. Um, oh, like getting... a, a flag, little flag. A little flag. Yeah, yeah. Um, you uh, do that before the captains sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, but after you play uh, a, a game for the national team, the full full national team uh, in Sweden, you get one of those. So okay. usually you travel for 10 days, you have two games, so you'll get two. Yeah, cool. And I'll, I've tried to collect them all. Yeah. Uh, so I put them up in a room at home, like on a string, and just like put them together. Ah, nice. <laughs> My idea for this dream guest was to find out more about you. What I want to do now is have this kind of dream fika together. So w let's imagine... The perfect place for a fika. Okay. Yeah. And and what is yours? What wh where where would you like me to be with you? <laughs> what a nice <laughs> question. Uh, now it could be different. I mean, it depends on the situation. You can uh, you can bring uh, you know you can be out in the in, in nature somewhere. Just yep. bring your fika and sit at uh, having a nice scenery to look at something like that. You just sit on the on, on the grass and you have a lovely fika. Or if it's more a cafe or so, I would love it to be like um, lights in, in the corners. Like the the lighting is very important. Yeah, it should not be very very bright. I don't like. When a lot of light comes from above, it should be like a little bit, maybe not dark, but like cozy. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're in a very cozy room. Yeah, yeah so I absolutely. Think, I think I you're think... you're spot on here. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I, well, uh, we uh, we imagined how you would like it yes, lighting wise, yeah, I think you did and well. we couldn't take you outside. So, <laughs> but I mean, don't you get un like the uncomfortable outside? Like, I'm not an outdoor. Are you an outdoory person? I mean. When I grew up, I was, but I, I can understand what you're I saying. Just like bony bums, yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. like ah, and then yeah. you get, and then, and then there's f mo mosquitoes, yeah. you know, like <laughs> and <the> ants. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's just <laughs> issues with everything in this country, no, and for sure. And then people are warning you, like festing, watch out for the festings. Yeah, and, that's true. You know, yeah. so um, so we go, we go in. Sorry, the the, the lighting is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's nice and cozy. We're in the corner. Are, are you wanting music? Is it? I it, mean, I could have some lounge music, but the most important thing is the conversation. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it cannot be very loud. And also, I want privacy from the other guests. Uh, I want to be able to s fully tell you about whatever thoughts and feelings I have. So I don't want someone sitting just one meter to my left here. To me, that's very Swedish, to yeah. have that kind of barrier of, of a meter, two meters. Yeah. So we've got some jazz, we're, we're, we're okay, and... No, not jazz. No, not no, no, jazz. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm my, sorry, my, sorry, DJ. Uh, my yeah. my, my nine-year-old son, though, yeah. he would probably like that. But oh, a bit of jazz, yeah. yeah. You're just on shuffle. 
Uh, I'm I'm not great with these things, so but uh, I don't like jazz. That's one thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the exclusive from this podcast. Yes. Is don't play jazz. Yeah, no jazz. That's how we end it. Me playing like saxophone. <laughs> but um, and 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 coffee wise, like. Uh, what I, can I get you? I've actually not been a coffee drinker throughout almost my entire... Out. Get out. Exactly. <laughs> no, but the thing is, uh, it's changed. So it started off with these uh, probably jam-packed sugar things yeah. that you can buy in the gas stations yeah. uh, <laughs> that don't taste coffee. I don't yeah. like the taste of coffee, really. Okay. But I started off with drinking those, and I thought, oh, this, are, this, this is not really coffee, but I like it. But then I went to a conference, uh, yeah. and I was so tired. I'd slept so bad. And yeah. then you sit there, yeah. and you're like, I'm getting tired. I'm in the front row, and it's very important people speaking on, on stage, but I'm really tired. Yeah, so, you, okay. don't wanna, you don't want to nod off. No, yeah. exactly. So I'm, I'm going to go with coffee, okay? Uh, so I took coffee, and I put a bit of milk in, and I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so I took another cup of coffee a little bit later. Yeah. It must be that this conference has really yeah, good yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah, I can't, yeah. It can't be that I really like coffee, yeah. but I think it changed. I think it has changed. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not proud of it, actually. Yeah. I was well, like, I'm, I don't drink coffee, you know. I, was, I thought you were going to get an eager up on stage, like, zh, zh, you no. know, everything was happening. <laughs> let's get your, let's get your dream, dream coffee. The, this is the one that you re- request. This is, the one. is it? Yes. Yes. Okay. And it's a big size. Wow. Yeah. I feel like you, you have um, now, really treated me. I, I have a problem with this, Hedvig. Okay. Um, I, for me, a cold coffee, yeah. it's like you've forgotten it and you can't find it. Yeah. You know, in your I house. And, you're what like, you're saying. and then you go, oh, there it is. And it's like 20 minutes too late. You drink it and you go, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not the same. This is like, this is very cold. That, what you're okay. describing is like a, uh, the room temperature yeah that, uh, yeah, you, yeah you have to put some ice in it in yeah. that case this is cold oh, okay well it's different let's, i don't think i've even tried one of these oh you, well you so, might never go back to so whatever we you go. had before <laughs> this, this might be the whole thing of like when you with the conference it might change my whole life yes maybe <laughs> no <laughs> no no it's it's quite um quite quite sweet it, it doesn't taste like coffee does it <laughs> no 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 it's um i love it it's a bold espresso with creamy milk. Um, oh, yeah, I, I get that. I can get that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It grows on you. It does, yeah. And I'm not um, not a kind of latte person at all. But, um, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> no, you're just, yeah. You're right. now you're changing your mind. But now we're at the point where <laughs> you, I mean, you're not doing poor tour with this, are you? you? This is a one. You don't You don't do another one of these after. Uh, my wife bought, she found somewhere where you have them, more like in a milk cart. Milk carton. Yes. Yeah. So I realized I've been pouring myself a glass now and then, actually. At okay. Home. Yeah, wow. In I the mornings, know. nighttime. I'm like... It's a problem, I think. It's I think. starting. <laughs> like it's, it, it's growing on me. Yeah. I, I just realized it now. <laughs> well, I, you might have turned my corner as well. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's okay. It's um, okay. One thing that I think Fika for Swedes, very difficult to explain it to non-Swedes. Like, you know, my mum would ask, what is this fika? Because in New Zealand, you would go and have a... I mean, we've got some cafe culture, but they'd go and have a drink, a beer, or, you know, like, we don't really have that. Um, Has there ever ever been a moment for you, like, having a fika, a dramatic fika? Have you ever had, like... Has there ever been anything that's happened? I wouldn't think so uh very very boring in in that answer um the most dramatic thing that i can imagine <laughs> it's not even dramatic yeah. is when i was a kid you know and you visit uh, your grandmother or something like that and they bake uh, uh canel bullar or something yeah. like that and me being a young growing athlete yeah i would eat 15 of those <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, obviously i mean that's quite dramatic that is dramatic <laughs> yeah i i, I was Born and raised with wheat and sugar. That's yeah, and I mean it went okay. But like, um, are you a baker? Do you? I I am much better at baking than uh, cooking. Okay. Yeah. And what are you baking? Uh, I would make maybe chocolate balls or something. Oh like yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I, it depends. Uh, okay, chocolate uh, balls. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe we can bring you a. Chocolate ball. I don't know. What? Uh, 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 
I, and we've got the really the reveal here when I've already blown the oh, whole no. thing. So here we go. Um, oh, I mean, I mean, you I've got to do speak, it again. Speak, <laughs> you speak directly to my heart. I, exactly. Anything can, can you I say, I is? can deliver. Oh, of course you can. Yes. You. I was very tempted as a you're a Morvac to throw it. Do you get that a lot where people throw? Uh, <laughs> shall I have that other one? Yeah. Shall, shall right. we try that? Do you want to do that? Yeah. Do Let's do that. Try and with I'll, this one? I'll, I'll grab that one. Yeah. Thank you. See if I'm, and if then, I still got there it. we go. Yeah. It. And what I liked about it is you followed it. You really watched it. You, you got, you you got know your the body, technique body behind. Yes. yes. The, the footwork was so and so. But uh, yeah. But um, yeah, I love this too. I mean, I need to get some. Um, I need to call these companies and say, look, look what I've done now. Absolutely. Uh, because, we'll get photos with them. And yeah. yeah. Um, you're not, oh, okay, this is awkward. Oh, I was starting <laughs> to eat mine already. And you're you like, I'll, what? I'll no, save that for later. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's a big part of my personality is fun because I'm a goalkeeper so yeah. to save things. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't, never had Fika during games. Um, not during games, but uh, usually you will have the some sort of fika directly after the game okay. and that's when it feels totally 100% good to yeah, have it like yeah. uh, because after a game you're tired and you need the sugar very quickly because so. i watched the i watched the world cup this time around and um in wellington mm -hmm. it's new zealand and it was cold and the swedish players were drinking but it must have been hot chocolate wouldn't have been coffee, would it? Oh no, coffee for sure. Yeah, I, okay. I, I like i said I, I wasn't a coffee drinker but when i um, was playing because you usually play at nine o'clock in the evening, yeah. and I'm not a, an evening person. I'm very tired in the okay. evening. <laughs> not a great thing when you're supposed to have like your brain working yeah. as a goalkeeper, as you know, as yeah. your son is a goalkeeper. Uh, it's a lot about thinking and uh, anticipating what's going to happen. Yeah. It's a lot about maths, actually, like seeing the different angles. If I if I place that person there, they can yeah. only play here, or maybe they can yeah. thread the ball there, and you know, like all these different things. So you have to be fresh in your in your brain, and I'm not during the evening. Wow. I'm really really tired. At ten thirty is my like perfect time to go to bed. Yeah. So I would drink coffee, black coffee, okay. just before I went out to play at nine o'clock. So oh, I would wow. be like, oh wake yeah, up, yeah. you wow. know, wow. really tired. Um, if I would play a game at ten o'clock in the morning, you would have seen another level of me. I'd be like, yeah, and people yeah. would be like, shut up. You know, because we haven't woken up yet. I played. I played football. Here I am telling uh, an international goalkeeper go, that I go played ahead. football. <laughs> I love um, it. No, and I played one time. I played for a pub team in England, and my, and I wasn't talking to my dad. Really, didn't get on with my dad, and uh, I was in goal because no one else would go in goal, and I saved this ball. Like you, <laughs> you got to save the ball, <laughs> um, and my dad hugged me, and he hasn't. Probably hasn't hugged me since, oh. but it was a real weird moment of like, ah, like that, you know. Um, but I, um, I don't know what the moral of the story is. Um, <laughs> hug someone when you save things, yeah. but I, um, I generally, the responsibility of a goalkeeper is so full on. Like yeah. mistake wise, you make, like strikers can miss. But a, a, a goalkeeper, more of that one one mistake, eighty eighth minute disaster. Yes. So, yeah. Just in case you didn't know, no, exactly. like, no, no, no. after one hundred eighty nine yeah. caps, <laughs> and, exactly. uh, yeah. you know. No, but it's also I think that's uh, maybe you don't realize it. You choose your position before you realize the. Did you play anywhere else? And <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I played with the. Um, with boys at the time, um, and we had competition in goal actually. Okay. Uh, but I was a forward as well. Yeah. Um, I, I don't really remember. So the grown ups following me growing up said I, I had talent as a forward as well. Uh, yeah. And I guess I liked to be where it happens in the box, you know? Yeah, yeah. But the way why I chose to be a goalkeeper is basically. Um, it was it was fun. It's very satisfying. I don't know if it's a, you produce something every time you catch it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and also you can throw yourself around like you can yeah. get you know end up in a puddle and that's fine you yeah know? yeah and that's maybe not exactly what you thought uh, no. a girl would do and goalkeeping's changed now because it's like the pass back pass for sure it used to be like pick it up exactly. and roll it to yourself exactly. and bounce and yes uh, now you've got to play with your feet and, exactly yeah uh, and i i spent two years in spain uh 
in the later stages of no, my so for Atletico? Yes. Yeah. And I kid you not, I think the first year I when I had a session as a goalkeeper, like the warm up session, I think seventy percent of that time with that coach would be playing with my feet. Yeah. I felt like this is a forward training. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> put in Things are changing. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Because obviously I think if you ask goalkeepers in general, I think you will find many people that has like a forward dream that they had to give up and like, I should have become a forward. Yeah, and then you yeah. were like bitter for a few years. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. was for sure. Yeah. I'm starting to feel like you'll have, you can have your money. It's fine. Yeah. And, you know, uh, we'll take some shit. We'll I'll also be in the yeah. paper, but maybe yeah. not as often in positive light. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I accepted it in the end. But yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is a dramatic feat. Yeah, where you're, I mean, you know, yes, yeah. maybe this will turn the, out to be yeah. the most dramatic this, feat this I've ever had. This is it. Well, you know, and yeah. you haven't even touched your chocolate ball. I know, I know. Yeah, I'll give it a taste. I'll just don't munch it up. Don't hold, this, hold it. Yeah, if I can open it. There we go. Mm. They're good. They're solid. They're really good. I have. A, I yeah. actually have a history with these ones from um, when I was um, in school when you were like. 14, we were working in the cafe mm. and you could buy these for fem kroner for five Swedish crowns at the mm. time. I think it was a common practice that if you were working, you were able to kind of like... Take a couple. Yes. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. And if you knew the one working, like, could you? Yeah. Like, I mean, they were so cheap anyway, but <laughs> oh, uh, how many did we eat during the school days? It was... That's uh, not bad. It was amazing. I think they're about eight kroner now, so that's not bad. Oh, they can be much more expensive okay. some place. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you go maybe <laughs> buy, buy them in angry, angry yeah, at yeah, the yeah. prices. <laughs> it's not... And then yeah. sometimes you come to cafes and they have their version, but yeah. it's... So I'd say this is the best one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In it's, Sweden. It's solid. And there's a sponsorship call. I know. Yeah. I mean, why haven't they called? Yeah, and you're holding I, the Starbucks. Yeah. Or something. I mean, it's... It's, 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 bad. it's, it's probably bad because yeah. I don't know if they're... Well, there we go. They, maybe they're cancelled or something. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> I've seen the commercial yeah. already, the board that comes over. Catching it. And you catch it. Oh, my and God. And they go, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, and then you just start eating it. I mean, I didn't, have, I didn't have so many years in my career. I never had... Uh, a brand manager. Oh, okay. But if I would have. Yeah, absolutely. Directly. It would have been a given. Because it's the old, there's a, some old joke about a goalkeeper saves a child from a burning building. Okay, it's got a bit heavy. But, mm. um, <laughs> and they go, oh, Hedvig's here or something like that. And then they, th they throw the kid because they trust. Yeah. Then you catch it and then you kick the kid oh down my God. the street. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. <laughs> It's the mystery cake. So here we go with the mystery cake. Um, mm. I don't even know what this is. Oh, so interesting. This, this could change a so this lot. This time of... you can't give it away. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but there might be a sponsorship deal. Oh. Shall I open it right open now? Open the... Okay, it's collage. Green. Collage. Okay. Collage. Wee. Oh. Wow. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. Oh. It's it's a, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, a healthy mushroom. I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit <laughs> rude as well, but that's fine. But that's so. What it is? It's a Carl Johan marzipan swamp. Huh? Marzipan, a truly global confection with a rich history dating back to medieval Europe, the Middle East, ancient China, and beyond. In Sweden, marzipan is celebrated through traditional treats like princess torta, punch rolls, damsugara, and various marzipan figures such as Christmas pigs. A bit personal. <laughs> um, here we have a seasonal delicacy, Karl Johan marzipan swam. <laughs> so we've done that three times now. When in the 19th century, Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte was brought from France to become Sweden's King Karl Johan the Fourteenth. It is said that he brought with him French food habits, such as his love of mushrooms. Swedes got that now as well with the Cantarella Stella. Mm. But to the king's surprise, Swedes weren't big on picking mushrooms, and it took several national campaigns to lose the suspicious attitude towards these spongy delicacies. Stone mushroom, which happened to be the king's favourite, from there on became known as. Carl Johan. Mm -hmm. So there we go. There's your mystery cake. Yeah, uh, interesting. Um, I wouldn't have expected that actually. No, I did. I no. didn't think there was any history involved in this. No. But the um, <laughs> the two hour information I've got, um, we've got to try these. This is part of you. You cannot try not 
not try this. This now I am in uncharted territory because I don't know how to eat this one. Like, do you eat the top or the bottom or the side? Um, how do you eat this? One? Okay, you try. You don't eat the top. <laughs> you don't eat the top first. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you should cut it. Yes, I think oh, you keep going there. Yeah. Oh no, it's a proper marzipan. Okay. Do you like marzipan? Not so much, actually. <laughs> Got to try it. <laughs> um, I like it on a, a princess uh, cake mm. because it's very thin. So when it's very concentrated like this, I, I'm gonna feel challenged. But I'm gonna try. Okay. Yeah, you have to try. But maybe I'll um, take the top off. Yeah, but it's um. That's possible. <sighs> Was, there we go. Very well done. It's it's proper. It's amazingly designed, but mm -hmm. it's very um. Yeah, that's the mystery cake. Um, <laughs> to me, to me, it's a bit a bit of a mystery if we're going to actually finish it because it's um. Yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that one. Actually, I'm sorry. I feel like a little bit rude. First time that has ever happened. Yeah. Um, someone. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, Carl, what was it, Carl? Yeah, I've forgotten the name already. I've said it four times. <laughs> Carl Johan Marsipan Svamp. Maybe we should say out of ten, the mystery cake. I mean, I'm not big on marsipan. I know that. So I'm yeah. not, I'm not um, I mean, I don't know. I didn't eat all of it. So I don't think you ate any of it, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I did. Here. Okay. Did. I struggled through that bit, to be honest. <laughs> what are you up to right now, though? You have you finished your career or are you gonna carry on or um I'd like you to carry on. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, you could always carry on with football. Mm. So many uh, of uh, you know players that played in big teams and big leagues still play but on a lower level and that's the beauty with football. You can still you can still find a level to play if you want. Yeah. So I think I'm I I don't know if I'm gonna be like so that's it, I'm you know, bye bye mm -hmm. football. You know, write something on, you know, this players' tribute, tribune. What is it called? Yeah, big big wordings and all of this. Or if I should just let it fizzle out and just like I'll show up in a division three team somewhere. You okay. Know? Yeah. Um, or somewhere else. I uh, I haven't decided. I wasn't um too happy with uh, how the last kind of it was with you gordon yes uh, my my last kind of like and it was because of like the social media was uh, the abuse <sighs> in the games or the real reason i don't really know if i know but it wasn't really a good energy no. surrounding um my presence in the in the club unfortunately i had met many 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 good really nice people mm -hmm. who stood for great things and I was met with a lot of really sad, you know, comments and, you know, sad, like, if you look at it objectively, it looked quite sad and, and yeah, horrible, to be honest. Vile, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and maybe the lesson could be that maybe we should moderate a little bit um, yeah. to protect uh, when those things happen. But do you feel, do you feel loved? Like when you see people, do people uh, come up, say hello? While I played in in Djurgården, there yeah. were always uh, a lot of people screaming my name and yeah, like yeah. showing the appreciation of of my persona, uh, but also the other part. Yeah. It was too um, extreme, I would say. Um, so it it happens that I walk around in in Swedish society and someone realizes who I am. It's yeah. like, are you the goalkeeper? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just have to say thank you for everything you've done, and you know, like, yeah, and, and that's really sweet uh, when they do that. Um, but I also kind of appreciate that I am a bit um, anonymous as well. I kind of like that I kind of step out from yeah. the women's game before it really have taken off. Do you think it has? To, do you think it's got bigger in the last? I thought the World oh, Cup yes. this time around, you know, especially with the awful Spanish Federation, oh, yeah, was just such a shame because it was such a great tournament. And then it was overshadowed by, you know, misogynist yes, pig, you yes, know. Yes, So, yeah, it was, um, but it did feel like it was very global. And I, I really hope it, you know, my, my daughter plays and she loves it. And I think it was from the World Cup mm. where she really picked it up. Yeah, oh know? my God. Like, you know, if you listen in a little bit on the... Everything surrounding the women's game, it could be coming in from a, you know, a 
commercial point of view, people working with that, or governance point of view, or play it well for point of view. It's just everything is just growing, growing, yeah. growing, and we're trying to figure out how we do this. Yeah. What whatever everyone says is that it's going to be an exponential uh, return of investment right now. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you asked me if it's taken off now. Oh my god, yes, yeah. there is a huge huge demand for women's sports Potential and women's football yeah, uh, they yeah. say all of them say if we put content of women's football in front of the audience they love it yeah. they consume it first they said there is no demand and we're like well you haven't tried yeah you? yeah <laughs> you know? absolutely i i sat in meetings in the swedish cafe saying why don't we have a twitter channel yeah, you know like yeah. oh because we have a website like no you know yeah because uh, we, we have had to push for this marketing to happen because yeah. The product is good and it's going to improve and improve and improve, but it's the marketing that's been lacking. Well, I've, I've never, I've watched you and I've never met you. This has been amazing. And and I I sort of wanted you to introduce yourself and me to then talk about you. Not that you need this, but I think you're a, you're a credit to like the game and, and to yourself as well. Like also you're so, I think, I wouldn't say you're outspoken, but I think you've got your views and I think you say it. I'm disappointed that you didn't have the mystery cake (laughs) uh, and you don't like marzipan. No. Um, But you have been an absolute dream guest. Genuinely, honestly, it's been so much fun having you here. Um, And I'd love to come on. If if you're going to play again, I'll bring my son and my daughter and we'll come and watch you. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Thank you for having me. It's been very lovely to meet you. Yes. Yeah, I hope that uh, maybe we can have a follow-up at some point. And, yeah, for uh, sure. And that you'll have way more different types of fika. And you can teach us which one is the best Absolutely. for everyone to try. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> and um, please take your chocolate I'm, ball I'm as gone, well. I'm gone. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> for more information on me, please go to my website, alpitcher.com. This podcast was produced by Soulside Productions and recorded at Clarion Hotel Sign in Stockholm.